Thank you, Mercy, for that report from the Indonesian Stock Exchange Building. Uh, moving on, Indonesian state-owned train operator company Kereta Api Indonesia has received 3.2 trillion rupiah in subsidy funds from the Ministry of Transportation for economic class train services in 2022. These subsidies are expected to improve railway services for the economic class of public trains all across Indonesia. The government have provided state train operator company Kereta Api Indonesia with 3.2 trillion rupiah in subsidy funds for the economic class railway transport services in 2022. The Minister of Transportation, Budi Karya Sumadi, says the subsidies will help improve services for at least 250 million economic class train passengers. The present director of Kereta Api Indonesia, Didi Kartantio, stated that they are continuing efforts to improve the quality of service and safety of commuter trains across Indonesia, and the subsidy funds will help them do so. PT KAI can provide quality services with the subsidy funds. Atas dukungan Kementerian Perhubungan dalam hal ini Dijen Perkereta Apian yang telah mendukung operasi kereta api Indonesia dengan adanya kompensasi pemerintah dalam bentuk PSO maupun perintis. Untuk memenuhi penugasan tersebut dengan sebaik-baiknya sesuai dengan amanah yang diberikan dengan cara memberikan layanan yang prima dari sisi sarana fasilitas dan pelayanan yang diberikan kepada para pelanggan kereta api dengan memenuhi standar pelayanan minimum yang sudah ditetapkan dalam peraturan menteri perhubungan nomor 63 tahun 2019. The government subsidies for economic class trains will be given starting from January 1st up until December 31st 2022. These subsidies will be used to improve all economic class train services whether it's short medium length or long train trips.